who remembers what happened last time? Oh, that does. Oh, does he now? Excellent. Indeed. So, uh, after a, a long night's sleep in the in basement cellar on a bed of like a hay covered in a like a blanket, all very woke up, um, feeling pretty well well swiped. Went upstairs, ordered all the bacon and eggs that you could possibly have. As soon as you did that, uh, a couple of uh, scoundrels came bounding down the stairs. Some <laughs> stupid little kid <laughs> jumping down the stairs and a fucking orc all the way behind him. And they tried to uh, hijack my breakfast. They uh, tried to, I mean, more. successfully. So in, in the process of his all this ordering breakfast, uh, a man came bowling down the stairs, shouting about some destruction upstairs. And uh, all, instantly all the barmaids got distracted and I wanted to go and stop or fix whatever was happening upstairs. But I wanted my damn breakfast. So I walk up, uh, stand in front of the stairs and I said, what the fuck's going on? They're like, oh, there's a disturbance upstairs. I'm like, well, I don't give a damn. I want my breakfast. Um, and then they, they were so insistent. I was just like, fine, I'll go and have a look at what's going upstairs, get my breakfast. So I started walking up these stairs, and there's just a commotion behind me because I'm like I'm a big lad, so like trying to get up the stairs, like my shoulders are scraping along the sides. <laughs> so I get to the top of these stairs, and um, fucking names. <laughs> Everybody, type your name in chat quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't Gorm. It was Emu. Emu. Yes. Mango. So I see uh, Emu in the in, in the planet well, upstairs, and a clearly up to no good, so gotta gotta get some time, you know. So I, neighborhood. so I turn around <laughs> and I'm like chatting to this guy, he's like, Oh I need to go upstairs and I'm like, Oh nothing happening up here, like Um so I distract him while Simu sort of slips downstairs and tries to steal his dude's keys. Uh and then there's some noise downstairs, so I'm like, Oh, let's go downstairs and uh as I get to the bottom step I trip over. Oh just you know, tripped over my own feet. It was a bit, a bit silly, really. And I, uh, I landed on the bar on top of all the food. Um, <laughs> about half the bar sort of caved in, fell on the floor. I think a couple of our lads managed to save them the food, which is good because I needed that. And then the, the the bar guy, the caretaker, just went ballistic. He didn't like that at all. Uh, so I just grabbed some food and went outside, sat in the sat in the barrel outside, and ate my dinner. Um. I think most of the commotion calmed down inside. Everybody eventually came out. Um, I believe that um, Tilda wanted to go and see a carpenter, go and help repair the damage that I caused at the bar. So I went along with Tilda. Um, carpenter's actually just down the road from the uh, from the blacksmith, so I decided to stop in, try and see if we could speed up the shield being built, just because, you know, we're leaving town now because we just kind of trashed a bar. I feel like it's probably better we get out of here. So I offered to help out the blacksmith. He's like, oh, I need some lunch. I'm like, oh, fine. I guess I'll go to the market and get you some lunch. Uh, so I went to market, sort of bumped into a couple of my um, compatriots along the way, grabbed them his lunch, chucked it down in front of him. He's like, all right, you can do some hammering. So spent a few hours just hammering away at the shield. Yeah, felt pretty good about myself. Got a bit of a crowd. Everyone impressed by my muscles. Yeah, that's just pretty much where we left off. <laughs> Can I just say I live for for Ovex um, recaps. <laughs> to patch the gaps. <laughs> yeah, so I was just gonna say, does anyone want to take it from there? Uh, yeah. well, I mean, I I also fucked off from the hotel before everything settled down, just so I could. Well, I went to a, to a game shop and I bested the chess master at chess. And got a cool board. True that. You did? And a nice box? Yeah, yeah we had a nice box as well. It had fucking crystal pieces in that. Mm. What did Tilda and Emu get up to? That's very private. Oh. How dare you? I'm just nosy. Mwah. I want to know. Um, well, Tilda. At the end of her trance, pretended to snore because of the completely snide comments made by Emu the previous night. And then uh, we 
explored a room that was trashed. An old woman who's clearly a necromancer. And then I convinced Emu to go into some walls for scientific reasons. And then I was accused of trashing the room. And I was locked in the room. And then that storyline syncs up with Emu going to interact with Ovik. And then after that debacle and everything somehow kind of calms down with an unconscious man on the floor. I then go to fix the trashed bar by going to speak to like Sue and Suzanne's or whatever they were called. Um, the carpenter people. Um, with the lovely old man up front. Um, who for lack of remembering his name because he might not have had a name, he's now called Arthur. And um, He was called Charles but you can Charles. call him Arthur if you want. Yeah, that's what I said. Charles Arthur. Um, <laughs> sounds like an author. Um, but yeah. So they then went and dealt with the bar because that, that's like goodwill right there, um, which is nice. I then went off, spoke to Emu about leaving town who was in the park, bumped into Brigish Gorm, spoke about actually making money. Brigish had noticed that there's a job to go protect caravans and that pays really well. So we're probably going to do that. And I think. Uh, besides stuff Emu did, I think I'll just let Emu tell that. Yep. Maybe. Hopefully. Given time. Once he realizes he's muted. Oh well. Um. Siron spreads his darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and they were all of them deceived. Oh, no, oh, he's gone. Or there was the a darkness. forced driver. I was going to say, a secret driver was forced. <laughs> <laughs> One to ruin them all. <laughs> Hello? Oh, he cannot hear us. Hello? Hello? Good day. Oh, you bastard dog. You can hear us. No way to talk about you. Alexander. No. workers. Just because he can't no, hear you doesn't mean you should be mean. No, no, uh, Inca jumped up on my lap, and I thought it was because she wanted to cuddle, but she started licking the pizza plate that was on the table. Oh, well. I've been bamboozled. Hang on, stop wriggling, I'll put you down on bed. Fucking hell, dog, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> now you can fucking yap at me, aren't you? Alexander, we cannot hear you if you are trying to talk. Hello. That's not... Bad. Hello? Was that like Maggie's attempt at pretending to be Alexander? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and by trying to imitate it, you sound less like him than you normally do. Yeah. <laughs> also, you now do sound very different to me now, so that's something. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I mean, wow. Shade much, Maggie? <laughs> I just think we are <laughs> unique and individual people. Yeah, but you're still allowed to sound the same without I that. I can't hear you, by the way, Alexander. Yeah, we really can't. I don't know if you no, can hear us, though. I'm... Let's find out. Oh, oh, I think it's just Alexander, right? Is this him on trying on his phone or his computer? Computer. <laughs> okay. Just use your phone. Yes, it's back. Oh. oh my god. Merchton. Yeah, I thought I'd move us to where we are. Oh, who's that? Oh, fuck's sake, I'm on. Not, not the selecting one, hang on. I'm way over here, with the blacksmiths or somewhere. I mean, it's, I don't really think our tokens matter so much. No. I like my token. I'm glad you do. I miss the owls. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll bring them back one day, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> what, about, what, the rather fetching owls? <laughs> Runestead will be covered in owls for you, okay? I was having a look at all of its character art, and like, his arm muscles are about a foot in diameter. So they're probably the size of me. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking huge. I just really like Tilda's new like avatar, to be honest. It's really yeah. cool. Foot Looks... in diameter isn't that big. Um, For arm muscles. No. Because uh how, how big are yours? I'm not talking about mine, I'm not like Mine well, are like half of that. 
But like uh, Eddie Hall and the the mountain, there's are like twenty seven inches and stuff. Wow. Wait, yeah. What? I was gonna say, I'm a twenty nine inch wide. Diameter or circumference? Oh, yeah. like... Circumference. Oh yeah, I'm talking about diameter. Diameter to circumference is a very big difference. Yeah, but at the same time, like we're talking human standards. You're a big giant Etten. I'm like only two. I'm only eight foot, so I'm actually not that much bigger than like the mountain. Yeah, that's a whole foot by human standards. That's a lot. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, right. hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah! We can. Yay. Can you hear us? Yep. I can. Yes. Yay. Fantastical. Yeah, do you want to tell us what you did last session and then that will be us all caught um, up? Yeah, so I think um, we had Emu and um, Tilda had their um, investigation throughout the, uh, the various rooms. Mm -hmm. um, disturbing a couple <laughs> random people and then found the, the room that was all torn up um, including a sort of secret call space between the rooms mm -hmm. um, and Emu managed to fairly aptly um, pickpocket the keys off the, <laughs> the guy mm -hmm. um, and um, lock and unlock the, the door um, just didn't make much difference in the end, but I was just quite happy that I managed to pull it off. Um, inadvertently caused Ovec to make a bit of a mess, but, you know, it all worked out. And then I think Emu went off and had some quiet time in the garden and then in the library. Yeah. Oh, wait, I just remember now, I also got Borkers as well last week. Bork, Bork. I, uh, that I you did? Wow. Well, yeah. Bork, my favorite character. Mm -hmm. Bork. <laughs> Brilliant. So, excuse me while I. Does Corum have anything to add? Okay. No, I was playing the bagpipes and I was eating the most food, and. I was acquiring information, that's what I was doing. I was getting us information about a caravan that pays very well because of mysterious incidents with potential goblins. Goblins with potential. Potential money making goblins. Mm. These are the money making goblins! Can we ally with them? I mean. <laughs> Harry Potter intensifies. <laughs> oh God. You can open your own game up. Intensify, yeah. But how, but how, funky, are those, how funky are the funky goblins? Money growing goblins. Well, well, you'll need to find out if you ever run into the funky goblins. We can tell because of the funk that they are the funky goblins. <laughs> <laughs> are you proficient in perceiving goblins. funk? <laughs> Anyway, yep, and if any, no one has anything else to add, oh, oh my goodness, first of all, I would just like to say that looks really cool, I did not realise your your little um, avatar thing on the roll 20 was a... Yeah, how um, cool is that? I just looked over at the other screen and I was like, oh my goodness, that's really I flipping it. cool. I love it, it's so good, we've lost Alexander again. Oh, oh. darn it. Gosh darn it. Well, until he comes back, I guess so. Um, so we kind of sort of finished with you, Tilda, like coming out of the um, sort of coach hire place, and you spoke to the guy and got the prices uh, for that, which are you know pretty pretty cheap, mm -hmm. considering. Um, and obviously you've also spoke to Gorm about the potential of. Um, oh yeah, hundred percent. That is a great idea. Quite frankly, Gorm. So yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, and I believe uh, Gorm and Dig Doglio 
went back to the tavern to try and uh, talk to talk. <laughs> talk to talk okay. and, and talk see talk. if he wanted to come along with you. Uh, on the way, obviously, then Dig Dog Leo picked up Borkers and just carried Bork? him back to the to the tavern. Oh yeah, I felt bad because fucking someone handed me a joint. That's true, actually. Oh, that yes, that is true. Happen. I was like, I thought, you, I thought you were talking about right now in real life. I was like, wait, what? Oh, uh, fucking no, I wish. <laughs> Zero to 60 in like, the space of a sentence there. Um, yeah, and uh, I think you... Gorm went upstairs, and we, we obviously had that thing where uh, talk was still kind of in a praying pose at the side of uh, the foot of his bed, and you... Went over and, and saw him, and uh, he was um, muttering, uh, and he had LH carved into his forehead. And I think we ended there. So I guess we'll kind of go c come back in on on that um, Gorm and Dig Dog Leo kind of standing there with with talk, kind of muttering away. Who's going then? Um. Both at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, we're talking to talk. But, um, but he's non responsive. He's non responsive. Like, can I like, put my hand in front of his face and just do the whole group of fingers and that? Yeah, you certainly can. Um, I think uh, if, you, if you're kind of like looking at him, his eyes do follow your hand, but he's still like in that sort of praying pose, like muttering, um, seemingly like stuff under his breath. Well, in that case, I'm going to lean in very close right next to his ear and just shout, HELLO! <laughs> Try and get some sort of response out of him. Um, do you want to give me a... HELLO! Oh. <laughs> um, maybe intimidation? Um, Let's see. Wanna, so. Performance. Yeah, intimidation ah. or performance. Um, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bastard! That's good. I that's that might just be... That, so, low rolls can also, at Callum's behest, be interpreted as the fact that he is unresponsive, right? It doesn't mean mm -hmm. to say you were the worst part of the situation. It could be the situation didn't help. Yeah. Um, Not that you just went... <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> You went to shout, and then a, 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 just a wisp just of air vacated your, your, your body, going, <laughs> Let it all out. Um, no, yeah, uh, as you kind of, like, shout hello, maybe maybe British Gorm kind of gets a bit of a, bit of a, oh. That was I cover my ears I, with my yeah. tail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, acrobatics, perhaps? <laughs> um, no. Slight uh, of hand. Slight of hand, slight of tail. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I, I like I, again his eyes kind of like kind of look at you, um, and then they kind of snap back to the center as he's kind of praying and muttering, or like in a praying pose and muttering, whether or not he's. Yeah. Can I ask a question that they obviously totally would think of? Right, is the look like he's trying to like pull his eyes away from where they are, straining them to look at them to be like help me, and then they get pulled back, or is it just like leave me alone, I'm busy, dismissive? Um. Yeah, it's kind of like um. You know, stop breaking my concentration, kind of look. Right. Okay. So now, oh god, I'm being manipulated. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. If anything, it's he's probably trying to force his eyes back away from um. Mm -hmm. The 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 distraction, distraction, as it were, as it were. Hmm. Well, can I just write a note of? what is happening and what's going on and leave it in front of his eyes <laughs> and leave <laughs> the team's <laughs> uh, yeah sure um, uh, how are, where are you like when you say in front of his eyes uh, well, in, in his in his like in his clear, like, clear like... peripheral not direct on you can see it in the corner his eye yeah so maybe you just kind of put it like in front of like like on the bed where like in front of where he's yeah. Uh, or maybe like wedge it in between like some, maybe the railings at the foot of the, the, the bed. Thank God you can write in this world's language, eh? Thank God. <laughs> well, he doesn't know that. 
<laughs> you can definitely leave a note. Whether or not it's, it's um, readable is is another thing. Write it in Russian just to be weird, right? Something or like some other language that you you would know how to write in, I guess, from your six one six universe. <laughs> Atlantean or some shit. Apparently, I, I can speak common, so. <laughs> speak the common tongue. Mm. Yeah, I'd like to leave a note. Yeah, and... that's fine. I assume you have note leaving capabilities in your your pack. I have an ink and pen and parchment. There you go, smashing. Does it say anything in particular? Or is it literally just like we're heading off? Maybe like this time to with this, um, or uh, we're, we're going to well, be leaving. From Gorm's perspective, we are totally going on the caravan journey and getting some sweet monies and potentially killing goblins and searching for the potential of a, another box mm -hmm. in the city over the town over. So just detailing that, and I have a trace of the local map. So probably leave that. Although, I do feel like Talk definitely can handle himself. Um, he has teleporting ability. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why I need to leave a map. Well, no, yeah, but maybe it wouldn't just like, it didn't, like, it wouldn't occur to you that he would, you know, obviously know where things are or whatever. That is polite, yeah. Um, um, and yeah, it, oh, sorry, Big Dogly. Uh, is Talk aware of the box that we have? Yes. Okay, well, in that case, I'm, I'm just going to walk out of the room saying, well, just fuck it, we're going. We're taking a box with us. I'm just going to leave the room. Okay, cool. Um... <laughs> See if he responds to that. Yeah, I'm going to go find Tilda. <laughs> yeah, that's yep. fine. I guess, okay, well, I guess we'll kind of like end that on, you know, as, as you know, Dig Dog does. Calm, in a completely non meta way, I would like to be unfindable. Unfindable, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, you walk past, I, I think, yeah, you walk past, you know, maybe you walk past uh, Sue and Suzanne's again, and uh, to that little old lady walk past you and uh, just touches you on the shoulder, and then you see your oh, body starting to disappear. Just, you instantly <laughs> drop dead. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> lich that she is. Um, <laughs> I. Yeah, I'll just. I don't think I had anything to do. I think I just said wait. We're like roughly in the square. I think that's the last thing I said to yeah. Gorm. I think like I was just waiting, and I think I was kind of assuming Emu would wrap up in the library and meet us, rough because it's near the square anyway. So yeah, I think you actually. I think you sent. Um, you said to Gorm and said, "Do you want to go see if?" Yeah, because um, I definitely remember speaking to Gorm after coming out of the coach place, and then he went off um, with Dixie. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I definitely. I'm fairly certain that you you suggested. Oh, maybe we should go see if. Uh, um, yeah, like go go get all our shit basically if we need to leave now. And then I think the only person technically unaccounted for is Ovik at the moment, but I've seen him walk around because I remember like saying hey and bye. He was off to to pound his shield. Oh my! So um, um yeah, I don't know. I think I'll just maybe I'll sit at the edge of the park or something like a bench somewhere, then just maybe like smile at passersby and kind of gently fan myself. I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, before we go, can I just tap Dig Dog on the shoulder and say, um, if if we're going on a long journey, maybe we should get some beer first from the tavern before we leave. What a spot an idea, my feline friend. And I'm going to go and talk to the barmaid about getting another keg. My fourth okay, keg okay. This, this time. Okay, cool. Have you been getting kegs too? He's been buying you I all, all your, your kegs. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bought all your kegs and you destroyed my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thanks you give me. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, you kind of go down. I think that maybe there's a. It's it's kind of like a different person on the bar. Um, but as you, as I'll buy you... rations in, in the meantime as well, just as an FYI for admin's sake. I'll go buy myself a bunch. Yeah, um, you can oh, obviously do that. Um, yeah, I don't mind. I don't need to roleplay or anything. I'm happy just no, no, to yeah. admin. Yeah, I, I'm not coming up with, an, with another shopkeeper. 
for you to... <laughs> well, now you said that, now I want one. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm the ration man! Is this the real, the real Arthur? <laughs> I am Arthur Charles! <laughs> uh, Arthur Charles, I met your, I guess, possible mirror cousin, Charles Arthur. Ah, and, Charles uh... Arthur, yes! My grandpappy's <laughs> grandpappy! <laughs> Does he also swoon over another lady who's amazing at her craft? <laughs> no, he swoons for no man or woman. He swoons for no one. I swoon for no one. Right, Turns so and looks in the mirror. The anyway, thing. yes. Anyone that had a backpack, um, depending on the type of backpack you've got, you've probably got rations with it. I am. Um, no. On my character sheet, it yep. says. Rations, one, but the weight of it is two. So I'm assuming because my backpack was an explorer's pack, I get ten rations. It's weird that it's listed that way in the inventory. Um, like, it should be ten, it says. So yeah. That's a real strange one. So just assume that if you had a backpack from the start, um, like, if you type in the compendium pack, I think most have them. Um, like for example, I don't know whatever they ended up with, but it'll be something like a Dungeoneer's pack or an Explorer's pack, unless you're specific. Because some people get Priest's packs, Scholar's packs, Diplomat's packs, Burglar's packs. Um, but you would have had the choice during character gen, and it's probably Dungeoneer's or Explorer's. Both of which have 10 rations, so people have that. That is pretty um, cool. Yeah, I'll screenshot it and dump it in rules, probably. Fine. Probably best place. Um, so carry on, sorry. But yeah, no, this... yeah, you, 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 you know, it's maybe it's a different person at the bar, and um, like you just kind of maybe explain to them that they want to, to buy a keg. Are you just buying the one, or? Did I'm you just buying the one this time. I can't remember just, the just price. Just get one each. No, it was like fifteen gold. Oh fuck! Yeah, get one. <laughs> Are you gonna chip in, Dig Doggo, or? Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll chip in seven gold. Please Can I? Uh... Is is it a a male or a female person? Yeah, it's it's kind of like a young 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 boy. How young? It's like like you know maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> um Can you like said sixteen. That in any more creepy way? Sixteen <laughs> ish. <laughs> Or whatever okay. sixteen-year-old in this universe would be in this universe. <laughs> so basically, a man. Yeah. If it's no, like a medieval you. setting. Can I just look at the the kid and be like, "Hey, chap, uh, how much for a keg and a, you know, a, a rock star around these parts? You know, do you want to be a rock star?" Uh, I just want to. Finish my shift and go home. Uh, but that'll be like, I don't know, 15 G's. Not grand, how, how, but as in gold, you know? How, how, about, how about 10? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying there, Mangy? How about 10, you know? Um, do you want to give me like a show. persuasion on that one? Um, yeah, as you say that, the guy's kind of like, eh, I don't know, it's tens, eh, tens a bit, bit, pretty good sounding, actually. <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh I, d I don't know, like, uh, how about, how about, like, 11, and we'll keep the one off the books, you know? Just, you know, so I can... Okay, hang on, hang on. For, for this, for this sake, I would like to just walk up and say, "How about ten and roll, in, roll intimidation?" No, I like his business. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's. I don't want to <laughs> discourage this young man from <sighs> from becoming a, you know, one one goal for him is probably a, a heck of a lot. <sighs> Pay his wages for a month. He's a good okay. businessman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, I, I can't imagine like threatening a sixteen-year-old kid. <laughs> well, fucking, I, I'm fucking he's, a man. He's, he's like he's like a man, or at least he thinks he's a man. 
a great axe wielding orc does fucking terrify him. I can't imagine I have to roll very high. <laughs> 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 yeah. It depends on what if you're exactly his kink. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Right? What <laughs> wild card? <laughs> you don't know what he lacks. Um, I uh, look the child up and down and say, Oh my. I like your thinking. You've got a good future ahead of you, with that business mind. Here's your lemon. Oh. Oh. Thanks, thanks, sir. I'll get the I'll get the the keg, uh, right away. Uh, and he just like he he calls on his friend, uh, and he's, who goes down and gets the keg. <laughs> well, he just sits there and counts out like the gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Cool, excellent. Uh, Ovek. Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure you're still there. Um. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I think we finished with you still just kind of hammering at your um, bits of metal. Yep. Um. So yeah, I think. Oh, uh, Angie, you're you're wrestling something. It's awful. <laughs> um. So yeah, Grugar comes up to you. It's may maybe been like a few. You probably like done quite a bit of work, and he's like, ah. You're doing good, son. You're doing good. Grand old job there. Man, at this rate, you'll we'll probably have your shield done by by this time tomorrow. And gives you like a hearty slap on the shoulder. Take one damage. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, of uh, speeding this up any more? Ah, <sighs> you're impatient, aren't you? Um, well, my uh, my group is waiting on me. Uh, I'm assume. You go for like that one then. No, oh, I accidentally deleted Dig Dog. But anyway, um, oh. uh, I'm assuming Tilda and Ovek talked about leaving. Did did does Ovek actually know that the the group are leaving at any sort of time? I mean, I don't leave without them. Well, that's true. Um, I, I, mean, I think Ovix just sort of like assuming that we were planning on leaving at some point soon, and the like, havoc that we've just caused means that we're unlikely to get another night in the tavern. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Well, cool I mean, cool, cool. to be fair, that's why I paid for it to get repaired. So, I mean, yeah. try and fix it, you know. But yeah, mm. uh, yeah, but like, I'm I'm happy for you to just like even just assume just for reasons or whatever. Yeah. Um, he goes oh. I mean, uh, as 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 said as said before, um, it would you could you can rush it and not have it as you know decorative as you you'd want and still functional, or or you could have it less functional and still decorative. Well, we um, kind of planned on putting like the back and the seal seal on it, went didn't we? So, uh huh. I guess we could try and skip that sort of stuff and some of the decorations and just um make it relatively simple. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure. I'm like if if you kind of like explain that to Grugar, uh, I don't think he'd be overly pleased that you're planning on missing uh, missing out the the you know sort of the whole reason you're getting a good price is because the because of the exposure you're gonna give him from mm. the band, you know. I just um, uh, say I'll yeah. I'll mention your name to anybody who uh, has the unfortunate events to uh, meet the shield. I think you'll kind of go, hmm. Will you be back through here at some point? Yes, yeah, quite likely. I believe we really need to come back in, in about a week or so. A 10 day. Alright. Alright. Tell you what. We'll, 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 get, we'll get it done. And when you're back, drop it back in and we'll get the, the decorations sorted for you. Sure. Cause I ain't losing losing the opportunity to have a fine fine fellow as yourself uh, showing off my my brand. Very well. Yeah, uh, I think Let's get um, this shit done. Gregor, like you can see, Gregor in the background with his eyes roll. Um, as he, as he, he yeah, he screams. Um, 
as he's kind of like just like moving stuff or like just chatting away to maybe maybe like a family who's waiting for something or other. Um, Will be waiting on a battle axe. <laughs> yes. Uh, little Susan's first battle axe. <laughs> Not to be confused with Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> Be more inventive with your damn name. Vestel Hamalisha. I'm just going to put it out there. Vestel Hamalisha. A name I've got in a post it note so I can pronounce it. And then you got something else called Vestel Hamalisha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's Hamtel Vestelisha. But yeah. That's it. That's, that's the whole next town. <laughs> um. Yeah, so maybe like you, you can kind of probably get that finished by the end of the day. Yep. If you all batter it out. Um, just smash it out. Yeah, just smash it out. That's fine. Um, smash one out. Smash one out. And yeah, uh, I guess we we kind of do that like sort of fade out as you're like montaging, like working hard, like the hammering anvil montage. Clink, clink, clink. Boom, 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 click, That's click, boom, boom, boom. Oh, Vic, man. No, 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 no. Emu. Are you still working? I hope you are. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so I think, I think at the end of last time, I was just leaving. I like left the library and was on my way to meet back up with... Um, People at the the, the yes. caravan, that the caravan story, right, yeah. um, So I guess like, yeah, keep keep heading that way. Yeah. So I guess like you you probably just get there with no no you know sort of you know incident. You know there's there's no you know stop thief in the background or anything like mm -hmm. that. You know um, there's no muggers. You're, you, you yeah you can just get there unless you want something horrible to happen. Um, and I guess that maybe you I want kind to of... mug everyone I see. <laughs> Here we go. No. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I guess maybe you sort of passed Tilda because you were, you were kind of like at the, maybe sitting on a bench, um, kind of near Star the Wars square, mode. weren't you? Uh, I guess like I was shopping um, for like the travel oh, for the rations and stuff, yeah. Uh, I bought way more than just rations, by the way, but it's all just fine. generic adventuring gear stuff, nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I'm assuming this town has the adventuring gear list. In oh it. yes, I imagine it'd be quite quite near, maybe like in that the, the actual square. Um, so you see Tilda shopping. That's what you see. <laughs> probably just like, yeah, makes sense. And <laughs> probably just wait um, out in the street uh, for for Tilda to finish. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm happy to like have I, your quote finished. Yeah, um, um I like I've, I've, unless there's fun. like some form of interaction you like desperately want, then I I think we can just kind of skip to you maybe picking up the last things and heading back to maybe towards Emu if you saw him. Yeah. Her, but yeah. Her, um, yes. Sorry. Every time. Yeah, I think I just like you see me packing stuff away. Um, in my my bag of stuff, and I guess I just catch up saying we have a we should hopefully have some income soon. We have the caravans between here and Palm Pie need protecting. Hmm. Let us hope that the uh, outcome is less complex than our most recent uh, way of acquiring more claim. I think I just, like, I look to the side as if I'm about to say something, and then I don't. And then um, I just smile at you, know, kind of pl like pleasantly. And then I say, dancing was rather effortless, I'll have to say. And then I just, as if I'm distracted, right, I just start like looking around the town. That's our interaction. Yeah. Um, I think at that point, uh, Mangi, uh, Gorham, and uh, Dig Dog, though, uh, unless you've deliberately stayed at the the tavern, um, 
maybe you've, you've got your keg and you're probably heading over back towards the square. Yeah. No. Maybe yeah. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've, I've sort of decided that a trait of my character is that although I'm wearing a bag, I've, I've got a massive afro, like I said, that I just keep things inside of the afro. <laughs> <laughs> so like when Battle Rise, I just pull a fucking great axe out of my hair. So like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> okay, Marge. Right, okay. <laughs> exactly. um, yeah, as you kind of like leave the, the bar, uh, Barker's um, kind of sniffs the air and um I said that really weird. The R, um, and uh, kind of runs out after you. Um, as you kind of reach the the square, um, Barker's just runs off in a random direction. Still in the square, but just off doing Barker's thing. Oi, Barker's! Barker's is oh, not listening. Me. My dog's about to go to go up now. For fuck's sake! <laughs> also, if MD could try not to whistle on mics, it is the worst oh. noise to come across Sorry. the microphone. It's okay. It's maybe just me, but it's off. No, it is. Oh well, no. Well, when that gets, I'm just going to sort of split up and try and retrieve Borkers. Um. Okay. Do you want to give me a athletics? <laughs> um. Uh, while you yeah. do that, yeah. So, uh, Tilda and, and Emu, you kind of see, um, and Gorm and Dig Dogglio appear. Hey. Maybe that's what's distracting me then from the conversation with Emu. Maybe I like I, I catch them in the distance. Yeah, and then you see Dig Dog Leo run after this yeah. dog, the, the kind of really shaggy, derpy-looking dog, um, as uh, he kind of leaps over and grabs it by the waist again in a similar fashion to. Can I make a comment about before. stinking nut? <laughs> Barker's looks at you with like huge eyes and just goes. <laughs> Yeah, that's you. <laughs> I think I'll just lean over to Emu, like in that kind of, we're both staring at the debacle over at the other side of the park or the square or whatever, and just lean my head in and go, cats and dogs never get on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, do you, like, I found they work not too badly in the stew. <laughs> I think I just look like that mouse agape, <laughs> like, <laughs> but I don't say anything. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe Dick Dogville and uh, Gorm maybe walk up towards you at that point. Um, you're all kind of. <laughs> Did I retrieve the dog? Yeah, yeah, it's under it's under your arm again. I've I've, I've now put him in my afro and now his little head's poking out the top of it. <laughs> um, hmm. Afro holding? Like <laughs> <Dwarf> holding? <laughs> uh... What's that guy from Final Fantasy Thirteen called? The uh, F F X I I I guy with bird in head. Dig dog Leo Dexy. Uh Daz. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you try to put Barker's like maybe like on your head, um he just like his limbs start flailing, uh, and kind of Okay. I'm still, I'm still lowering back down to my arms. So no, he's <laughs> like, you drop him. Oh, for fuck's sake. And he, he just kind of goes, ah, and um, kind of just limps kind of off, to kind of behind Emu and Tilda. Oh, I'm sorry, dog. Um, I think I'll, like, I'll try and pet him if it goes by, like, in that kind of comforting, you know, you're okay type way. Yeah. If it lets me, if it doesn't, no, no, I'll yeah. just... I'll read the room in half I think, a I think it goes up to you. Um, as as you kind of like lower your hand, his head like moves towards your hand. Mm -hmm. And you kind of maybe scratch him behind the ear, and to your surprise, he starts purring. <laughs> I mean, it makes a bit of sense as everything else in this world, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> My ears suddenly prick up. Or, um. <laughs> <laughs> cool. This, this, this is not just canon dignity for me. This is uh, like the guy that keeps the little chickenies here. <laughs> oh, it's adorable. That's <laughs> Sorry. so cool. His hair must be full of so much poo. <laughs> well, you always gotta fill it with reality, don't you? That's what his dandruff is. It's just bird shit. Oh. Well, that's ruined, so moving on. Well then! <laughs> anyway, cool. 
I suppose um, at this point, sort of Rovek, maybe you've just kind of got to like the, your your shield's almost kind of done, and you have that sort of like little continued montage of like the last bits of hammering, and then like it's being like kind of constructed uh, by by Grugar, uh, and then he like kind of like passes it over to you as the mm. sun's starting to kind of get really real low. The sun's getting real low. Um, it turns into a human. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the the he presents you with this this shield. Um, it's pretty well made. Um, but it's you know not as not as fancy looking as you'd originally intended. For now. Hmm. He goes. Fair enough. All right. Be sure not to 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 break it before taking it back. Hmm, indeed. I'd uh, thank them and toss them a couple of gold coins. Um, I think maybe he. Do you kind of like just flick them at him, or do do you? I uh, just pass them, sort of drop them into his hand, politely, not throw them. Okay. Um, <laughs> he throws them back at your face in disgust. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Vic, making can it rain. Make a rain. Um yeah, he just kind of nods his head at you, Star Wars nods. Um Done. and says, Alright, be sure to be back. If you're not back within I'll give you I'll give you a week and a half. If you're not back. Oh, I'll be held to pay. Fair enough. Mm. Pick up my shield and walk out. Cool. Do you kind of head towards I'm gonna head towards the marketplace, because that's the last place I saw anyone. Yeah, um, as you kind of walk past, like the marketplace, like all the the little like tents are all kind of like closed up and stuff, and then the the shops are obviously all closed. Mm -hmm. Um, and so the sun's starting, like it's starting to not it's not setting, but it's just, it's pretty low in the sky. You've got that kind of like that that really nice light when you have a really low sun with all the cool shadows and the high contrast and everything. It's really so nice. dusk. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's my favourite lighting. It doesn't make me sneeze either. Um Yeah, um and as you kind of like wander wander around you kind of maybe just bump into a few people who are heading home. Cool. Um some people like nod at you having like seen you like hammering earlier who are impressed with your muscles and they go, Oh cool and they're going, Ah, oh, so that's the guy. It's the guy we I saw. Give him a wee cheeky flex as I walk past. Do you want like his butt muscles? Do you want to do you want to roll a performance for me, please? <laughs> oh no, I really <laughs> don't. <laughs> <laughs> there is one particular group who are just like walking past you, and you go, and they go. One of them's like, "Oh, that's the dude who was at the the blacksmith. Uh, I think he's also like the the bodyguard for the 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 band that we're in, you know." Uh, like, and then you know, a lot of them are like, "Ooh, hi!" and then. As you kind of flex, they all just kind of simultaneously go, oh, roll their eyes, <laughs> scream, and uh, <laughs> just kind of just move on. And then, like in the distance, as you're kind of walking, you hear like the giggling of the, and um, maybe as you know, if the if the camera was looking at you and you were walking towards it, you see like you know one of the guys kind of just like f jokingly flexing his muscles and doing all these poses, going ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Novik, roll my warhammer. He flexed too hard and accidentally farted. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you do, and it's it's you know, but it's silent. Um, it's like silent, and it's good, like the death <laughs> smell. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, and I think like that would take you to the to the square, um, sure. where the rest of the group are sort of congregated. You see. Um, everyone kind of standing. Well, uh, maybe, maybe kind of near the the notice board where the sign up information is for the, the job and what have you. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time the party has been together <laughs> in so long. Yeah. So, can we just take a moment to appreciate that? 
Oh, I'm in the mirror realm. I don't know what you're oh, talking about. Fuck's sake, <laughs> I'm inside my bagpipes of holding. <laughs> Alright, just uh, nod at um, everyone. I think you Very... suffocate. <laughs> you There's some of air in there. There is some air, yeah. It's okay. You get, okay. You get, like, some, t you get some time <laughs> before you suffocate, but you will. Oh, is that so you can, like, you know, get, like, waste, waste in, like, if we can't find the thing, just dunk your head in and go, ah! <laughs> sort of like the noise that comes out of my bagpipes, the screams of everyone suffocating inside. Yep. <laughs> As I uh, get to everyone, I just like um, spend some time just speeding up the shield being built, um, just so we can get out of here a bit quicker. Don't think that we we're going to be that welcome back in that tavern. What's the plan? I think I just Caravan. look Ovik. I think I just look Ovik and say, "It's okay. I think I've somewhat smoothed over the incident." With the tavern. I nod. I nod back. And smile. I smile. I try to smile. It looks a bit like that picture. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. A breathing creatures inside the bag can survive for a number of minutes equal to 10 divided by the number of creatures. Minimum one minute. And then they begin to suffocate. There you go. Huh. Mm. Good to know. I did not know that. So ten minutes for a person, and then it gets divided up by the people that are in it. But I don't actually have bagpipes to hold. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, so, like, from from where you are, like the the like the coach. Um, like the coach hire place is is still open, and so is kind of like the the door next to it, which is kind of the sign up place for the for like uh, escorting jobs and um, I guess guarding jobs. I don't want to say escort, but yeah. oh, escort. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, <laughs> escorting services for hire. Great. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, what does everyone want to do? Are they all... Can I look at Emu and point with my tail to go inside? I mean, you can. What happens? Emu? So you, you point at, at me with your tail, or...? <laughs> Sorry, I point you... at you first, and then inside the station. In the direction of the main person. Um, yeah, and I guess we'll just sort of, sort of follow on with you. Hmm. Somewhat intrigued. So, cool. in oh, cool. we walk. Yeah, um, cool. Does everyone else sort of just follow on, or are you all. Are you all I'll be outside. Cool, cool. Um, I'll wait so with Tilda. Dig Dog Oil? I'll just sit on floor next to him and play with Doug. I am. Um... It's not going anywhere near you. Well. <laughs> you did just drop it from head height. Actually, hang on. No, no, no. What I'm going to do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tear off a tiny little bit of my rations and pull that out of my hand. Do you have that sausage still in your pocket? No, it no, the dog ate uh, it. No, yeah, oh. I, I, I ripped it in half to feed it, but because I did a shit out of my handling rule, he ate both halves. Oh. Fat bastard. Damn. Um, no wonder he doesn't like you. While he's feeding the, or trying to feed the dog, uh, I think I'll just like admire Ovex shield. Um, I see. Ah, they completed the work. Yeah, I, I think I did most of it to be honest. Really? Can you hold it up for me so I can see it? I hold it up, show it off, do a couple of poses. <laughs> I think I did that thing where like I, like, I wrote, like did a kind of two finger, index finger, and middle finger, and, like run it down like the seams of all the work and stuff, and just look like I'm really like paying attention to all the work and because I imagine she maybe in this wonderful fantasy world knows more about looking at a shield than I do in this world. You know? Oh yeah yeah for sure. And, um, <laughs> I think she just kinda of I just do that thing where like my, my lips are tight and I kinda of just nod and go, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. This is fine work. The first one. Hopefully the first of many if you become so profitable. I just kind of was quite enjoyable. 
Yeah. And I'm just happy to have that as a pleasant little exchange. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. There's a nice yeah, break. Cool. It literally just made the shield. That's pretty impressive. It's, like, it's really cool, let's face it. Like, if I had made a shield, <laughs> I'd be like, guys, everyone look at my shield. <laughs> um, I'd just say it was quite quite uh, peaceful making a shield after all the chaos we've been through the last couple of days. Yeah, nice so sometimes I find simple tasks um, very cathartic. This was no simple feat, Ulvik. This is rather impressive. You should hone this craft. Hmm. Like I just Maybe I nod. will. I just nod and smile and then kind of like keep an eye on the Digsy and the, the dog. Yeah. Does the dog the dog do you, you want to do, yeah. do another animal handling? And while you do that, um, can I help him do the animal handling? This you thing? certainly so can. I will like because the dog likes me, so I'll help try and renegotiate this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, by all means. Um, hey. Yeah, you do, you don't need that. You don't you don't need to roll again. You're good. Yeah. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> roll twenty eight hours. <laughs> yeah, it comes over to like just takes like a nibble out of your hand and just kind of goes up to you, uh, and kind of nuzzles its head in, into like maybe if you're kind of crouched down into like your the, the back of your knee. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of a I forgive you sort of nuzzle on a dog. Nose. Yeah, it's like oh it's okay we're good now we're good. Bork, um, Bork, <laughs> uh, Emu and Gorm. As you kind of like walk into the place, there's a there's a gnome, gnomish man, a man who's a gnome. This is perfect. <laughs> standing behind your, but standing behind your desk. No, standing behind a desk. Um, and he's got like um, there's like a little notice board in there with like loads of different kind of jobs and there's like a schedule of all the 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 merchant like um caravans that are being sent out and like arrivals and departures and things like that it's like a more detailed version of what would be in the the coach kind of booking on place can i just uh look to emu and s sort of say am i remembering correctly that you speak um, and I, I, pro I would probably nope. just um, Sorry, I muted myself. start stop talking to the gnome in in gnomish as as my way of answering. Um, yeah, I, I'm, would would you would you know that he speaks gnomish? I mean, you've heard him speak gnomish, but like, would you know that that's gnomish or mangle? Uh, I'd recognize it's not common, and um, if I'd know if the gnome replied. Sure. Yeah. Um. I guess like it's probably the first time seeing a gnome. Um. Well, it definitely is. I know. Uh. A gnome. Um. But uh. Yeah. So I guess I guess maybe like you just assume ah oh, this this person speaks might speak a different language. So sure. Yeah. Um. As you kind of say to him in gnomish. Uh. What What did you say? Sorry. Um, I got distracted with my own words. Um, I would probably just say hello, um, and um, I, I presume I would have um, caught up with uh, Tilda on sort of the the plans um, in the in the interim, so that I know where where it is we're trying to go. I think I said that. Oh, no. I, I think you did. Uh, yeah, it's I more think so. that, that I can't exactly remember what the the town is that we're going to, trying to get to. <laughs> yeah, Palm Pie. Okay. But it's not oh. called Level Upton. No, it's not. It's no. called Palm Pie. You can thank yeah. Digsy for that. Um. Yeah, uh, and he kind of just looks at you. Um, he kind of taken aback for a second that you know you're speaking gnomish to him, but um, yeah, he just says, Ah, hello. Yes. Um. Yeah, we've got we've got um, uh, plenty of spaces. But for some weird reason, no one actually wants to go on this on this journey. We kept putting the price up, but yeah. Interesting. What can you tell us? Why so few? Um, do you speak Gnomish, Gorm? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what you hear is. Sorry. <laughs> ah, yada tom batai o do da 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 i. And then he twitches. Oh, yeah. And now I be Ewok. Ewok, Gnomish. <laughs> yep, yep. This is my <laughs> universe. <laughs> yeah. 
I say absolutely nothing. <laughs> that is fine. Um, and I, maybe like, slightly inquire further into um, if he has any reason to to suspect that people would avoid that journey. <laughs> he just looks at you and goes, "Hmm, it's rumors, silly, silly rumors. You know, the talk of goblins and gerblins and gerblins and flipping whatever other ilums there may be." Stupid is what it is, honestly. I'd make See. the run myself, but uh, I took a I took an arrow to the to the hips. As we know, hips don't lie. So, exactly. Probably just ah yes, it's a um, uh, debilitating ailment. Um, and so you want to August. see? He starts to lift up his like his his like top. To show, like, and maybe, maybe, like, if it's like you just like, a, like a, it looks like a spot, you know? I was like, like, fairly deadpan, just like, oh, looks absolutely horrific. I can see why you need to entrust on um, the, this duty with others. Exactly my point. Um, and I guess I'd explain um, about the. My my companions, um, and that, you know, our capabilities. Yep, uh, and uh, yeah, he would he would just look at you and go, "Hmm, that's a that's a fair fair few fair few people. Ah, that 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 do nicely. Uh, excellent. Uh here's the and he just like pulls out like some some paperwork and like just like individual like um sort of uh." You know, dis disclaimer bits of paper that, like, if you die, it's not my fault. Is that in Gnomish? No, that's in that's in common. Um, I think maybe maybe the little booklet has like, like maybe like four four or five sheets, um, all in different languages. Um, could I pass that to um, Gorm and then just like get him to to get everyone else to have a look at it? Yeah. And turn back to the gnome and just. Continuing in Gnomish, ask if there's um, many others of um, his people around. Uh, it's only me and my brother next door. Um, I haven't. There's no real, real Gnomish community up here. <laughs> uh, and then Pampai. Uh, Pampai. There's. Uh, we have. We have. There's a couple of uh, gnome. 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 Uh, there's a gnome embassy. Uh, we're not. Very well looked after in these parts. Uh, I'm amazed we actually have business. Yeah. Well, um, just sort of okay. I'm sure it will continue, and um, I'll just uh, confirm the, with the the rest of the group um, that the the terms are acceptable. Cool. Um, <laughs> with them. Signed. Okay, so I guess uh, you'll see um, Tilda leave the, nope. the 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 shop first, much to Tilda's surprise. Yeah, because I was outside. Yep. Um, well, tip top, everybody. I have some tea, and also some forms for you to go over. I say, looking like Tilda. I see. Or a rough approximation of Tilda. I, I don't think you've got it quite. I don't think you've studied Tilda well enough to have like a perfect. It when I was away. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, oh, I didn't realize. I just realized that all that's set to GM. I didn't realize that was um. Biggie message <laughs> messaging me. He's um. <laughs> using his masks of many faces to cast disguise self. Okay. To look like Tilda, apparently. There you go. Nice. There is that. And then Emu follows shortly after. So did I see this happen before you go in? Because I'm going to assume no, because there would have been a conversation. Uh, no. Yeah. Because everyone was just sort of chatting. Cool. So I see me walk out. Yes. Cool. Are you dropping the mask or is it staying on? It's staying on for a little bit, just to fool around. Okay, I think um, after like 
I guess, petting the dog with Digsy. Yeah, like, noticing that. me walk out. Like, you see the kind of pleasantness, like, drop from her face. Mm -hmm. And she kind of stands up and she, like, walks face to face with herself. And, uh, kind of deadpan, she says, Show your true self. Um, could I, like, bring out my bagpipes and just play a tiny tune and then poof back into Gorm? Sure, but, okay, so, like, as, as I guess, what, what Tilda would see if you do that, there's that kind of pause as Tilda reaches in over for something. Um... Without saying, do you say anything about that, uh, Gorham, or you, do you just try to like, do it? I giggle quietly. I might purr a li little bit. And I slowly reach into my bag. You know, nothing, no fast movements. I think I just activate my fan as well. Sort of big like orange glowing fan in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Vibrating with energy. Maybe by this point you you see him, see see him see see you kind of take out like reach over and there's like a bag with pipes sticking out of it. <clears throat> and then I guess okay. um, God just stand there goes waiting. To, yeah. Goes to goes to play it, uh, and then poof, it's gone. Um, as the second Tilda walks out the thing. Orvik sort of like growls and looks angry at it, <laughs> knowing that I'd been standing next to the real Tilda. And I was standing up. Hmm. Joe's obscure reference, okay. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, I think she still stands there, pretty like, like porcelain looking expression on her face, fan in hand. And uh, when it switches back to being gone, I just say in a very kind of calm, methodical way. Stealing someone's face is incredibly rude. If you intend to do this again, you will ask first. Are we understood? Understood? Just like testing out a wee spell. Test elsewhere. Was there's, I... like, there's like a green light to her eyes in the amber. I suppose I slightly turn my nose up at that. Okay, uh, and yeah, and like Emu, Emu walks out. Maybe you see like as as you kind of step out, you see Tilda playing a bagpipe and then poofing into to Gorm. Um, well, how does Dick Dogwheel feel about this as well? Um, as yeah, I'm just gonna just do a fucking double take as he fucking comes out. Is this is this another one of those what the fuck moments? <laughs> it, it, it's this the fucking what the fuck? And sort of all fucking goes down. Fucking the dog the, the dog looks at both of them and goes what? You are correct. Yes. Um, the Borkers does do that. Um, yeah. So Emu, you you kind of step out, see that. Probably roll my eyes as soon as it um, turns it's back green. into it's green. The, <laughs> the cat. Um, and sort of gesture to um, uh, to Gorm to show the, um, the paperwork. Ah, yes. The paperwork for the quest. And I hand it out to everyone, assuming they can all read. Yeah, and there's like there's one there's like one for everyone. So it's like not just like one sheet. There's a sheet like for whatever number, um, Emu said there was. Um, so I assume the full party, the of the five, is it? Three or five. Um, maybe there's an extra one because everyone always loses a sheet because. That's what happens. Yeah, you all get handed this sheet, and it's basically just 
outline sort of like um you know there is some risk involved with taking on um guarding duties and blah 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 uh you know if it, injury and death will not be compensated from the employer blah 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 blah, blah. here are the here is the pricing which was 100 up front and then the the 900 on successful um arrival um and then there's a little slick sort of signature like thingy going my insert name accept these terms and well are there any hidden terms eh or is it, is not it uh, it's it's very straightforward it's like very simply written like them as bullet bullet pointed for for ease of reading there's no like tiny small print going hmm? you will not be paid if there is uh you know if one of the horse's shoes are slightly dunted from the ground you know so it's there's a fairly nothing like that so, no let's clarify that so what is the we don't get paid conditions if it's as simple as a horse's shoe is damaged no the that point? there isn't anything <laughs> like that is what i'm saying right okay um, cool it's like like what? the don't get paid conditions are obviously deaths of uh -huh, the, the of the the people or like um substantial loss of stock or um substantial being like you know stuff that wouldn't be reasonably used as you travel and or you know you know the odd stuff that just is off like off how many of the people going to the caravan counts as substantial like how many of them need to survive uh I, 10 percent <laughs> it's like asking how many students were allowed to kill uh it's like it but i would never do such a thing uh um i think I there is like i think there is a clause anyone. that's literally like death will result in no pay mm, interesting mm. Well, we've got a hundred gold if we sign it each. Yeah, I think I just turned back around because I was probably still staring at where Gorm was standing in front of me before he moved away. Uh huh. Um, I never took my attack of opportunity, obviously. Um, <laughs> I think I just fan myself very briskly with a fan and then dismiss it, and then look at the paper that's in my hand and i just walk back inside cool you see the you see the gnome he looks very very similar to the the gnome who was in the 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 other well the building adjacent the the kind of coach um booking on place all that will follow tilda inside cool you see exactly that too and you very see similar, what i described like, earlier is that the brother or because i yeah. say that i wasn't here for the description earlier uh yeah, so um, they're they're, they're brothers. Okay. They look very similar. They look like they are related. Okay. I um, I just kind of smile pleasantly at the gnome and say, "Do you speak the common tongue?" And goes that I do, that I do. Nods. He twitches slightly. Forgive, forgive me, I never mastered your language, unfortunately. Yeah, um, it's fine. Not many, not many the uh, folk have in these parts. A smile and say, a failing on my part. Um, I hope to amend one day. And then I kind of put the paper in front of it. Do you have something I may sign with? Uh, and then he kind of just, you know, gives you the, the sort of ink and the, the pen that's slightly chained to the desk. Okay. Standard uh, office -y type thing. Yeah, and I sign my squiggle. Yeah, brilliant. He looks at it and he goes, hmm. I'd follow suit, <laughs> but I don't really know what a signature is, so I just scribble. <laughs> Does it like take up like more of the page than, than uh, maybe like getting dangerously close to covering up some of the, the text in the. Yeah, just sort of going over the lines a wee bit. Yeah. Cool. He Trying looks at it and goes, It almost slightly mimics Tilda's one, but just drawn <laughs> badly. It's a badly drawn Tilda. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Um, maybe it's more of a sine wave than a than a tilt. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's fine. Goes ah. Um, not 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 quite sure how that's pronounced, but yeah, cool. Who's he saying that to? To to Ovek. I think I just look up at Ovek and then kind of like smile and look between the two of them, waiting to see if Ovek fills in the gap. I just look confused. Like, what does he mean? He's asking, how do you say your name? Hmm. Ovek. You can call me Stonebreaker. Oh my! <laughs> Stonebreaker. Uh, be, uh, breaking stones, my guess. Is there something you, not... you enjoy? It is my legend. Okay. Good to have you on board, Dolvek Stonebreaker. <clears throat> And then he'll just like nod at you and go, um, a lovely name for a lovely lady, I'm sure. Is he looking at Ovek? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he said look at Tilda, but okay. I said he said, I said. I, mean, I, just, I definitely didn't hear that, but yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, okay, I said that in my head then, I do apologize. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, he looks at Tilda and says, A lovely name for a lovely lady, I'm sure. Hopefully if there's trouble on this particular trip, not too lovely. I just smile and uh, leave. <laughs> right you are, right you are. Um, and you, you probably like turned away and like started leaving as he says that. Um, but he, he just you know keeps repeating himself as you walk out. And he um, kind of, you know, puts them in like a little like folder satchel type thing uh, and sticks under the desk. Does anyone else go in and sign, uh, or is this is just like a two, like a two man, two man squad? <laughs> um, right, like oh, Vic, we've got this right. We can manage this. <laughs> I'd split up and look for clues. Did he pay us, by the way? Was that? A uh, yeah, no, that? sorry, I meant to say um, he handed you like a little pouch of the hundred gold. Nice, um, nice. Each, and the, yeah. the like the time of and... like departure is like dawn tomorrow. How are you doing your money in this game, out of interest? Because I'd rather not carry a hundred gold on me, I'd rather carry platinum, but how are you doing your money? Um. Oh yeah, and I, I keep forgetting platinum's a thing. Um. Just... Uh, yeah, there can be a, an arbitrary hundred gold in. I think, which you can just it's put in the platinum box. For platinum, but... Yeah, I know, but in this universe, there's a hundred golden. That's G-O-L-D-U-N. Golden. Right, okay. So is that worth ten platinum, then? Because that's way more complicated than... No, platinum doesn't exist. There we go. Makes so it much easier. Golden is platinum, but it's worth a hundred gold, not one not, yes. not ten gold. Okay. There we go. So okay, we so have I one golden. Arbitrary. <laughs> Told you, money's arbitrary in this universe. Like in I, or just, just put ten put... platinum. Like right, just just do it. Just do it. Put it yeah. on your sheets. Don't care. <laughs> Already done. I'm angry. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not angry at all. You'll die. Reroll. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know if the hundred gold can become platinum. Not that. Yes, that's fine. You do not have to carry a hundred gold doobly doos. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'd like to come back and to and talk to the gnome and still speaking in gnomish, just say um, the uh, the word of a, a gnome is um, carries a lot of weight um, to me. And um, are you willing to, to give your word that um, the likelihood of attack by goblins is um, in your it is is low? I think he would, he would, like, as you were talking, like, at the start, he'd look really kind of like, oh, yeah, and then as you said, can you, like, guarantee that the, the, the chances are low, he would kind of, like, his shoulders would, like, notably drop, and he'd go, um, well, I don't want to say it's impossible, I, I think it's nonsense that, 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 it's, that it's likely, um, I just seeing that this contract um, stipulates that deaths are unacceptable, and um, and I I can accept that. But if you 
um, if if you believe that we are unlikely to be attacked by goblins, and we are attacked by goblins, and one of them kills um, uh, a passenger, then I feel that um, that would void your stipulation about deaths. I think he would begin to sweat a little bit. And be like, um... I, I, I mean... I, I, I don't... don't I, I just don't want to say that you won't bump into goblins if you do bump into goblins. I'm just saying that I don't think that the, the rumor. I think the rumors are over exaggerated slightly. Then you'll have no problem waving the um, the the uh, the death stipulation in the regards of goblins. If they if it is a wild animal that we are unable to protect them, then that is on us. But if it's specifically goblins that you do not believe will be there then there should be no problem. <sighs> Goblins are wild animals, my friend. Not in the typical sense, I'm sure you will agree. Um, I uh, do not have the authority to to say that I cannot... I, I need to rewrite all the contract. I, I can't. As a, an agreement between us, if there is um, death by goblins, then um, how about we will receive a proportional payment, uh, reduced by the number of deaths. And this is, will only be in regards to goblins. Any other deaths caused by anything else will um, com will void the contract. Hmm. If you can prove that deaths... The, the the cause of death i'm i'm sure there there can be some form of negotiation on payment i quickly grab a pen the ink parchment and pen and hand it to Emu and collect. i was going to say are you are you going in as well cuz i wanted to grab you before you went in to be honest i i was waiting for them to finish in the office first Corm. um Okay. I guess, my, well, maybe you start to, like, follow follow Emu in. I start to walk in or something and then get pulled Until back. they kind of grabs your arm. No, I don't. Or I just grab his walk out, throat. I speak, or... I, like, get Gorm's attention. And I say, okay. shall we have a word in private? I smile. Odd. And then, obviously, you can finish whatever you're doing with Alex in the room, if you want. Yep. I do wish to. And then obviously with Emu and the Goblin, or the Gnome, I should say. Oh, yes. Well, I, suppose, I suppose I need to do that too. <laughs> Ugh. Um, I just, you know, as as an agreement um, between um, uh, between a Gnome and a friend of Gnomes. Do you, do you want to, like, roll persuasion with, like, at an advantage, I think he, you you can see him noticeably kind of wavering and like humming and hawing, um, and you've like given like a pretty good, decent argument, um, considering he knows the information that he gave you earlier. Going ah, it's nonsense. So yeah, uh, can you do that? Or is well, that gonna? Probably won't go well. I was gonna say, is that gonna break your your thing? Ah, yeah, there you go. Okay. I think after much deliberation, he goes okay. I'm sure we, we will we will we will work out a, a proportional rate, and he like starts like scribbling onto onto like a piece of paper, and he says, uh, and signs it, folds it up, and you know puts his like seal on it, and says, uh, give that to 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 my cousin in a uh, in a uh, Pam Pam Pai. Uh, he'll he'll have the he'll have the the. He 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 has the the, the payment uh, on that end. Um, just just give him to that, and he'll he'll sort out uh, the the amendments to to the contract, sir. <clears throat> just like to give him my thanks, and um, maybe give him like a like a, a gnomish um, like farewell. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know what that would actually be, but uh, <laughs> some sort oh! of like gnomish in joke. <laughs> Do you want to ask uh, how we find his cousin? He'll be at the, oh. the, the, the he'll be the, the contract details. 
Yeah, it's in the contract. Right, sure. He's the person with the payment on the other side. Uh, I'm literally just about to sneeze and I can't sneeze. Look at the light. <gasps> Aziz, light. Um, no, anyway. Apologies. Um, so yes, uh, so yeah, as you can, we can go back to Tilda and Gorm. As as that sort of sort of happens, yeah. Unless yeah, there's anything else you want to say to 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 the, yeah. to the dude. Finish that first, obviously. Um. Mm. Hmm. Don't think you missed nope. me. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, just cut out there. What was that? Oh no, just saying. Is the is there anything else you want you want to, to say to them, or shall I jump over? No, I just give them a, a gnomish style farewell and be on my way. Um, which will be like a, I don't know, air like high five, headbutt. No, you go. handshake. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. So uh, emu and uh, not emu, Tilda and Gorm. Sorry. So yeah, I think I walked to the the park nearby. Or, you know, the empty park. And just wait for Gorm to follow. I follow. And then, like, out of your shot of everybody else, I'm just kind of turn around and kind of politely smile. And I'll say, We are new to each other, yes. Meow. Yes. And yet you steal from me so suddenly. Have I wronged you in some way? Just a joke. I did not mean for you to take it so wrongly. What's a bit of fun, eh? My identity is not for sale, nor is it a joke to me. Are we understanding each other? Uh, I think I probably say yes and just raise up my hand and turn it into. Ovik's hand, and then quickly turn it back to mine. I think you best step carefully, so we don't have to discover how many of your nine lives you retain. And I just walk away. Bam, bam, bam! So now we join the group outside yeah. the, the coat area. Um, so yeah, Gorm, as as you kind of like maybe maybe like you Tilda has to like you walk past Gorm, like he you, he's like facing you and you're facing the the where the group are and you kind of walk past him. Um, and uh, yeah, I kind of kind of focus on uh, Gorm's kind of like face. Uh, what's Gorm thinking? Probably doesn't understand the irritation um, as a we think and follows on after a few seconds maybe six or something yeah cool 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 uh, Dig Doglio yo so do you do you go in and sign your your life away to the snow don't worry, I'll look after the dog for you. Are you yes, sign? I'll go and sign my life away to this gnome. <laughs> I sent cool. the dog away. Um... <laughs> Be free! Run! Be free! You can. Go, my friend! I'm actually not going to send it away, but I will like pet it and then just let it... Like, I'll leave it alone so it can do what it wants. Yeah, it kind of like, you know, just sort of wanders, wanders around. Not like super far, but just kind of doing its own thing. Um, intrigued by... Seemingly doing, nothing. Just doing dog stuff and sniffing. Yeah, mm -hmm. sniffing dog stuff. Dog stuff. Dog stuff. Dog stuff. 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 Um, yeah. So yeah, you go in uh, unless you have some like want to have some something to say to the to the gnomish man. Is there anything you want to? Uh, you, you got out there for me there. Oh, sorry. Um, I shall talk louder and hopefully that was it. Uh, is there fine. anything you would like to say to the to the gnomish man, or are, are you just like going in, conducting business, and heading out? Pretty much. 
I think exactly. there's anything I've seen with the gnome man. This might be the best way to streamline that if you're looking to streamline it. Yeah. Does anyone want to scene with the gnome man? No. Gnome. Gnome. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Thank you, Ryan. And actually, you know what? There is something I'd like to, to say to the gnome man. Brilliant. Just because just I'm a bit of an asshole, I'm going to say, <laughs> you're a not a good elf. Oh my god. Uh... I think um, maybe maybe as you, like your hand, like you've you've signed the thing, you hand it over and you say that, and he just looks at you, and his eyes go like dark. Slaps you, take says... ten points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I'm going to run away now. Please um, refrain from your what I assume is but a jest. And he just leaves. He like he just leaves that at, at that. Like, I think he, maybe he picks up some paperwork and just starts looking at it. Yes, fair enough. I'm just gonna leave that now and retrieve my dog. Um, Borkers is maybe on the other side of the 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 square, um, just kind of sniffing around, doing dog stuff. Well, that well, I guess I'm just gonna ap approach the dog. Actually, do I have anything I can tether this dog with, like a leash or rope? I mean, you have hemp and rope. I was gonna say, yeah, you'll have. You have rope and stuff. Assuming okay, you well, got that. Well, in that case, I'm going to fashion a leash of some description with rope. Do I Please use make it a noose. No. I'm not going to make a noose for the dog. Please don't. Sounds like a nuisance. <laughs> Eight million points of damage just to Mangy. Yeah. <laughs> Not right. to British, just Mangy. A million and two. A million Paul... rope burns. <laughs> Paul Vex standing there just waiting for people to get collaborated to um So, when do we leave? Uh, you look at it and it's at dawn. You, you leave at dawn. Paul Vex doesn't want to read the paper. Yeah, but I'll, I'll just say that to the... To, to Who will be um, escorting? Do we know where they will be and all that nonsense? Because... I want to see if I can convince them to leave at night, like now, to get a head start on it. Okay, yeah, um, maybe the, like, it's, maybe, like, just, like, just, like, past the, the, the square. It's kind of, like, where the, all the, like, the, the, the bus station, essentially. <laughs> um, and, the, yeah, there's, like, all these carts being loaded up. Uh, and then sort of bay, where, where your thing is, you can see, like, there's two wagons being loaded up um, with, with goods. And stuff. Miscellaneous stuff for transport. Can I ask as well? Like, I'm assuming the nature of the caravan is that there is, like, they'll be able to like rotate people sleeping while moving. In yeah, corners. so there'll be there'll be space on the, the caravans for like you know maybe, um, eight people. Space for eight people to kind of and then rotate. Um, uh, and on the on the thingy you can see there's four. Um, for people that you're escorting with um, their own personal kind of guard. What's the roof made of? Is it like canvas or a stronger material? Um, they're they're actually they're open top and you can like pull over like a sort of canvas sheet as a makeshift sort of roof thing, like a convertible. Uh, GM. Yes, that's me. Um, Ovec being a particularly large person. Um obviously wouldn't want to get in the way of any people. Is there any like caravans or any like carts for sale in the in this place or anywhere I've seen? Um there's probably Pretty like cool uh, uh there probably is like a cart like higher or by place like across yeah. the road from the... just um, there you go. could I see if I could buy a cart and horse or have a look at the prices of them. Yeah. Horses are a uh, fifty gold, or seventy five gold, or four hundred gold, depending on the type of horse you want. And a pony is thirty. Okay. Calm. Would that be? Uh, oh. Yeah. So I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll take it. It's like thingy. So it'll be fifteen plus the the what was it fifty? Did you see or seventy? Uh, depending on the horse you want. Sorry. <sighs> so fifty for like a... gold for a draft horse, but for a riding horse it's seventy five, and then for a war horse it's four hundred. I'm gonna okay. assume that's what yeah, yeah. horse you want. 
Yeah. yeah. So, um, have you seen the last episode of The Witcher? No. No, never mind. Okay, just like a, a cart that's like a kind of like a pickup truck, back of a pickup truck with the bit folded down. Uh, yep. See if I can buy a cart like that, and then a horse able to pull it, and maybe some hay or something to just lay as a bed. If we yeah. Can find that okay, somewhere. so you're gonna bring your own, bring your own wagon. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, yeah, you can do that. You mark off the 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 goldage. So it's seventy five, was it? Uh, uh, plus well, the cart, which is fifteen. Well, no, it'd be fifty for the the horse, because it'll be sixty-five total. Sixty-five total, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But then technically, you also need barging. Well, sorry, bit and bridle, I guess. Um, for the horse, which is two gold. Feet okay. per day, which is five copper per day. Okay. You don't need a saddle, looks like that's all covered in. I've got like ten days of feed. Uh, so there you go. Cool. I think that's the gist of it, yeah. So. And then for a pound of platinum trade goods, it's 500 gold. Just saying. Yeah, I don't need that. Nope, I think I'm set. Cool. Brilliant. Cool. Um, if there's no other business to it. Oh, well, no, yeah, you're going to try and talk to the talk to the merchanty people who are, or the, the people who are saying so we could leave. Yep. Just now, yeah. I speak to the group first, obviously, before that. So while everybody's getting ready and Ovex looks at horses longingly, I'll just say, I think if we left now, we might in fact be able to save some time. We are under observation, passively as it may be. Um, she might have looks at the ground a bit and then she says, I would like to leave as soon as possible. Is there any obstacles to this? I'd probably just quickly mention about the uh, tack talk mm -hmm. having a a spatial moment so yeah like i think when you went like what is it you actually say then when you bring that up well myself and dig doglius uh ventured into the tavern we came across tack kneeling he had a seemingly carved lh whatever that meant into his forehead and no matter what we could do, we could not rise him. So I left a note. Is there any chance we can go back to the tavern before we leave? I, you could don't know. Also, mm -hmm. Calum, do we remember Leah Heath, or do we not remember that? Uh, you do remember that, yes. I don't think I specifically did. Or was I? Well, I think you were holding the book like up yeah, for everyone. Whether or not you were reading it is... Um... Yeah, I don't think I remember like, paying much attention. Yeah. I'm just going to keep all that floating around in my head for a wee bit, I think. Leah Heath, the dagger, and talk to his forehead now, apparently. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll just reply to you then, say, I believe if he is unresponsive, then perhaps he will be here when we return. He can take care of himself, eh? Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a grown man. Images of him with a big shadow spear through his chest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that was exceptional circumstances, okay? I mean, yeah, yeah, that's exceptional circumstances. You know, like it's it's like this whole situation. It was right cutscene circumstances, right? Images we are not responsible for cutscene circumstances. Images of himself teleporting easily the entire party with no effort, and, and then subsequently not being it. able to teleport them again. That's fine. You know, performance issues aside, right? Um, uh, but yes, no, but Dig Doglio, like, if if you want to, like, say that to the, the, the party, if you're wanting to go back to the tavern, then yes, by all means. Well, yes, I, I, I think I should just best go back to the tavern, just, just myself, like, or if anyone wants to come with me, just to see if he's still there, like, see if he's seen I thought the that's what you went for last time, because that's literally the conversation we had before we ended last session. That's why I sent you to the tavern to go. Yeah, now you're back. You want to look another go at it? I, I guess it's over that again. I'll see that in character. Are you looking to pull him from his duties? And I say duties really weirdly because I don't really know what else to say in that space. Well, I mean, I, I suppose if he's been like that for, what is it, two days now, 
Well, he went up to... So the night before, he went up to his room. So this is kind of like the next day. So it's about prob probably like from the morning to, to now, which is night time-ish. Um, so it's oh, definitely yeah, been like a day. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what happened was it was the like previous night when he went up the stairs. It's basically um, about the day praying. Is the gist of it, really. The day praying, yeah. Or um, praying. I think I'll just say then, yes, um, we shall meet back here if you can't can't get any progress in, I don't know, half an hour. Like, meet back here? Absolutely. I shall see you then. Try not to force the situation the way you are ever so good at. Off. Well, I can't, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll, I'll certainly try my best. That. I uh, just walk away, I think. <laughs> I was hope you were going to say, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, yeah, it's fine. I'll just walk away. With that I think it's best. I just go off and I'm, a, I'm gonna try and just I don't know. I'm gonna indicate to Olvik and Emu if they wish to join me on the let's get this party started section of the game. I, I'll indicate that with um, any series of nods I have to. I just I'll over my horse gift. and cart. Oh, sorry, what was that, you? I pull over my horse and cart, just leading the horse by its lead, I guess. Whatever they're called. Reins. Yeah. Reins. Rain it in. Um, yeah, you do that. Um, and, uh... So, yeah, uh, Emu and, um... I guess Gorm, uh, the... I'm, I'm just waiting for the party to go on. Cool. So yeah, I um, guess you, you're you're kind of met with silence when you say that. Um, unless, oh sorry, did I cut you off there, um, Alexander? No, I was just gonna follow on with till the um, following the, the series of nods and yep. handshakes. Brilliant, cool. Yeah, so you kind of like head over to the to the, like the guys packing the wagon that's in the the, the bay, the two wagons that are in the bay that um, your 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 thing says. To be, they're all they're not really paying you much mind, and they're just kind of packing up. And you know, there's like the guy clearly in charge with his clipboard is doing no work, just kind of shouting orders at people, going, "Ah, but we've got, come on, we've got to get this, 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 this cart on the road." First thing tomorrow, come on, boys. Walk up to them and say, "Am I interrupting?" Uh, and he'll like you. You Just hear him like back. audibly sigh, and he turns around and looks at you and goes, "Oh, uh, no, 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 not at all." <clears throat> Wonderful. Um, I believe me and my colleagues are. Well, we have been tasked with the pleasure of protecting you on your journey. Ah, excellent. That's 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 all he says. He kind of looks at you, kind of very very yeah. notably happy. And I say, we were hoping that you would heed our expertise in this matter and be ready to leave within the next, say, 45 minutes, if possible. I worry that if we delay our departure, you put yourself and your stock at risk. Um, I think you, you, his hand, like, comes to his chin. He kind of thinks and goes, and, uh... What um what what risk, um, is there more from leaving tomorrow than tonight? Yes, any time delayed allows more preparation on the part of the enemy. Why not leave on an unexpected hour? I just smile at him. Okay, um, and then he'll just go. Hmm. I think he kind of mulls it over for a little bit, and he just looks at you, and he uh, he nods. He goes. You know what? Yep, you're you're probably right. You're the they're the professionals, and he's kind of like looking at you, and then his eyes like come to you know the the the, the tabaxi and then emu and then Ovek and goes. Yeah. Oh, where did Gorm go? This guy thought Gorm stayed behind. That was just uh, and Ovek. No, Gorm said he was just kind of waiting for the party to come back. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Party. I need to get a drink. I'm here. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, what were you doing, Gorm? Uh, I thought you went with the thingy, I must have misheard. 
with Tilden. Oh, we're just a bit because I thought you'd waited forever to come back to actually depart. I didn't think you came with me. No, I'm just waiting around where we were from the start. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry. That's that was that was my misunderstanding. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's just um, I'm kind of looks at Emu and, and Elvik, and he just nods and goes, "Right, guys, speed it up. We're leaving tonight." Uh, and you you can hear like maybe some like under the breath complaints from the the people packing the, the the carts, but like they don't they don't question him. They just get on to work. I yeah. lead my horse and cart just up to the front of the train. It says, "Oh, you've you've brought brought your own transport. I see. Fantastic, fantastic." Somewhat. Ah. Some of us may need rest within yours if that is still okay with you. Um, oh, it's in the contract. It, that's fine. I don't care. I also then pass out a couple of bags of like travel sweets that are like what would be considered luxury, if that makes sense. Like you know, something nice to actually have. And you know, like when you go on a plane and you take you know sweets to kind of soak on. Yeah, yeah. Like, love after something like that. Um, no, not chocolate. No. <laughs> uh, no. Just like hot candy, refreshing. Um, and then um, I'll, where are those I'll hand them out. I'll hand them out to like the man says, "Please spread this amongst your men for the inconvenience. Hopefully, it will sweeten the hard reality <laughs> of an evening." Uh, yes, I shall do. Um, and th he like just turns around and like just walks off and goes, "Ah, from from the lovely lady." Buff, buff, and uh, Tilda's fine. And I just like kind of put my hand up as if, Let's, "Please don't call me the lovely lady." <laughs> He just kind of whistles away and kind of keeps plopping the the sweets into his like his worker's hands. Good. Um, and yeah, so Dig Doglio, you head yes. back to the tavern. To the tavern, though. Yep. Um. So, uh, well, um, what's your yes. plan, Capitan? Well, I'm going to the, just just walk upstairs to his room and just walk into the room without. The whole FBI open up sequence. Um, and, uh, okay. What what do I see when I walk into a room? Um, sorry, was that the the which room was that? You said the the. Talks Where the room. plot's at. Yeah. So talks room. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. He's still sat there. He's still kneeling there. Um, in his like praying pose, muttering. Is there anything different at all? Yeah, does the uh, note say red at the bottom or seen? <laughs> <laughs> seen at eighteen forty nine. Um, it's uh like the mouse is hovering over Mark as Mark is red, um, uh. yeah, uh, or it's just like archive auto archiving, um, God. so he doesn't have to look at it. No, yeah, the notes the notes still there. Um, everything's kind of like as far as you could like notice. Um, I mean, maybe maybe there was like a bit of a draft, and the curtains have moved, but like, yeah, there's there's no like difference whatsoever. Okay, well that carving of LH in his head does that look any different? Give me a percep uh, an invest a guest the gate. Uh, which one? <laughs> uh, investigate, I think. What? <sighs> Yep, yeah, it 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 still says LH and it's still carved in his forehead. Well, fair enough. Uh, well, I'm gonna say, yo, we're 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 leaving this town tonight. Are you coming with us? His eyes yeah. just look at you and look straight forward again, and he's still like muttering. Oh, for Put something on his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was about to grab his shoulder. Uh, wait, do I have Bork with me right now? Uh, Bark's no, you don't. Bark, Bark, kind of like maybe you passed the the square, and Bark just kind of continued doing dog stuff at the square. Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, I'm I'm, I'm gonna grab his shoulder and shake him. See what happens. Okay, do you want to give me a Dex save? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Five by five. Yeah, you you um, <laughs> uh, as you kind of like reach out to his shoulder, like you you don't even see what happens. Like the uh, um, talks talks hand, like he moves like so fast and 
but that, that you just don't notice that he's like knocked your hand away uh, and kind of kind of pushed you over to the floor and like resumed his praying position with like losing a beat. All right, then. Well, whatever. I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to stand up, slide his feet, and then slam the door on the way out. And fucking make my way back. Fucking not a bust, dick. Yeah, that's fine. Um, maybe as you kind of like get back, um, the like the the wagons are all loaded. Um, and the there's like um, you know, you see the each each sort of like all four of the the sort of um merchants and their personal uh, bodyguard people are, are are there. Um, kind of just maybe just like a they've like introduced themselves to the party. Um, as Dick Doglio's kind of showing up where are all their names we have Hilda Grilda okay. Thilda okay. and Bilda <laughs> no um, they are as <laughs> as yet unnamed and they will be named at some point okay <laughs> I just want to get to know all of them obviously yeah that's fine I want them to feel comfortable as they're all like munching on hard candies you know yeah we like Hilda Horvick Kimu <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm Dick Hoglio. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to grab Borkers before I get to you guys, though. Uh, I think Borkers, like, as you, like, come back to the square, just follows you back. Like, he, ah, good stuff. You don't need good to stuff. Up. He just follows you. Good dog. Yep, yeah, cool. Um, and the, the guy says, right, well, I guess we're, we're ready to be off. Yes. Uh, and he just like goes right people away you go and um the horses grow wings and they fly off into the into the night oh i guess well we don't need to escort them then bye no. <laughs> <laughs> um but you know yeah and they they start to use just kind of all like uh, i think all the the merchants and the the guards they jump into their into the wagons first and um, there's probably enough space for for four in ovex Um, you could probably fit all five of you in ovex wagon uh, at like a proper squeeze i'm planning on us all walking and not just being in my bed but okay yeah no you will be you will be walking but um like you're gonna be at so a the, walking pace but i was gonna say the, the problem is though we're gonna be going traveling through the night and we all need to sleep so we all need everybody to yeah, be sleeping that was that was um yeah but most people have accommodation in the other two cars, don't they? No. Well, not all at the same time. The they, everyone's yeah, everyone's yeah. kind of hoping to be leaving tomorrow so that they would have their good night's sleep. So the merchants and their bodyguards yeah. have just taken to, yeah, we are sleeping now. Because, quite frankly, how dare you get us up at this time? <laughs> yeah, I think um, if Ovec's going to lead the caravan, um, I'll just sit next to Ovec up front and I'll trance there for my like four hours rest and then just kind of sit pleasantly for the next four hours so that I just start with the rest if that makes sense uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Straight away. hence why I gave everybody hard candies so nobody had to speak to each other Good. are we all going to go in the same caravan right at the front because I don't know how many caravans there are in the, in the carts there are but... there are two plus of X Okay, I'm gonna walk so that's, that's defendable. That's defendable. I was imagining like there being ten and then being at the front rather than the middle, and then something happening and it taking forever to get. <laughs> well, why does it... the caravan's a week long line? Right. So how many of us are there? There's what five of us, right? Five. Yeah. There are five right, of you. So, Alvik, if you stay awake first, yeah, that's me and you can rotate, right? Mm -hmm. Sleeping at front. And we can just we're next to each other, so we can wake each other up. That's fine. Um, plus, I don't really sleep because of the elf thing, so mm -hmm. I kind of trance, which is fine. I'm semi-conscious. The why don't we have two people at the back then, in the back one? Um, so I'll be the back one. Yeah. Say, in the back. Could Dixie sleep first then, just for the sake of argument? Um, yep. And then when, because I feel like Dixie and Ovec should not asleep at the same time and if we can get Dixie to rest first, I'll rest first and then if we have somebody else could rest I guess in the back as well 
We could probably have two other people in the back, and one to wake them up if anything goes wrong. So I'm between, in the yeah, I was gonna say so between you and Emu, uh, who wants to take first watch? I don't mind. I'll go first. And we we'll wait for this mic to warm up. Um, yeah, that's alright. Don't mind either way. Um, I'll I'll take a take a snooze. Cool. And obviously, if something goes wrong, at least we're wake up people as a team, mm -hmm. and we're we're at the front and back of this, which is good. So we have a perimeter potential. That's all right. Yeah, unless I'm just got a better yeah. idea, like just slowly set the place on fire or something. I'll obviously want to be a wagon, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's as wagon. <laughs> Rock me, mama, like a wagon. Okay. <laughs> um. Cool. Yeah. And uh, that seems like a good plan. What we'll do is we'll take a quick break there, um, and then we'll continue on the road. I uh, say so yeah, I put my hand sort of as a step, oh. so that uh, Tilda can get a bit of help up into the cart. That's very kind of you. Yeah. I think I'll just lean on you. <laughs> or Dixie's plan. That's way better. Find some other goblins, some rival goblins, bring them with us. Buy them their own cart so they feel like it's an entrepreneurial like a, you know, thing. Like an apprenticeship, yeah. if you will. And uh, set them on the opposing goblins. God, that's a great idea. Or perhaps these goblins have got this completely wrong idea and think we're doing a illegal midnight street race. <laughs> hey, I'm up for an illegal midnight street race. 